Here on Ladies Night at Menangle, the Fran Fitzpatrick and Cheryl McDowell Pink Bonnet time-honoured race, time-honoured two-year-old race for as long as I've been in the industry. Ricky Orchin, firstly, congratulations. What a win. Yeah, thanks, Paul. Um, yeah, it's nice to win a race like this. It's a pretty prestigious two-year-old fillies race, and yeah, it's nice to win it. Love um, history and harness racing, and, and we've got to cherish it. The, the, like, this is one of my earliest memories. I remember it, the old Harold Park days, and it was a time-honoured race back then. What's it mean for a, a man like yourself that prides himself on the babies? Yeah, I mean, um, it is. It's a time-honoured race, uh, uh, particularly in the Harold Park days. Like you said, it, it was quite a big thing. But, um, so it's still it's great to win a race like this. You know, as a kid going to Harold Park and seeing the good fillies, um, I know Wayne Honan's good mare. I actually remember her. I just can't express post, I think it was, from memory. I think she won it. I uh, could be wrong on that, but it was one of his mares anyway. And, yeah, now to win it, it's great. Um, I'd like to see it get to a Group 1 status instead of a Group 3 status maybe one day because it is such a prestigious fillies race, but who knows? Oh, absolutely. And I think, you know, what, bringing it on this night tonight, which is a celebration for ladies, it's it's actually probably making it. Like, I mean, we just had the Invitational Drivers Race. We've got a couple of races coming up. We've still got the Ladyship Mile coming up a bit later on. So I think it's on the right card, and I agree with you. Turn into a Group One, and it'll be a, it's a really special race that people will target. You had a Victorian chase in your home. Yeah, that's right. Um, it, yeah, Group One or Group Two, or you know, just now, now that the group statuses have changed, it would be nice to see it probably get pushed further up the ranks. But in saying that, it's great to win it. Lux a Turner, mate. She's a beautifully bred filly. She looks like she's got everything. Um, she's pretty strong. Yeah, she is. We've liked her for a long time. Um, you know, she had a good look around tonight. She's still, you know. Um, you know, probably looks wound up, but she's not 100% focused. Like I had to pull the earplugs nearly as soon as she got to the front tonight because she started stargazing. But yeah, she's got a bright future, and it's great for the Laspina family. I know they've wanted to win this race for a long time, so you know I set out to do it tonight. She's, uh, as I said, beautifully bred. The dam side, just an immaculate breeding. Captain Treacherous is doing everything, but on the dam side, does help with these horses and targeting these big races, that well-bred side of things, doesn't it? Yeah, definitely. Um, I mean, she's a sister to Crunch Time and Captain Crusader, who um, you know I, I won you know, a fair share of races with, so it's nice that they're both now in America and she's taken their place. So, yeah, it's great to get the win. And she'll, and she'll be around for a while and she's only going to get better for that run. Yeah, I think so. Like, she'll head towards Bathurst now and, you know, we're, like I say, we're not going to get too ahead of ourselves, but she is a nice filly and she's advanced and she's natural, so we'll, we'll take them as they come. You've got a bit on your dance card coming up then, haven't you? Yeah, we do. Um, you know, it's a busy time of year for the babies, so that's what we do and we really enjoy them. Well done, mate. Congratulations. Got one going around a little bit later. Any chance? Um, look, he's working really well. He's probably just a touch below the better Derby horses, but if he ran a place, it wouldn't surprise me. Well done, Ricky. Winning the uh, pink bonnet. As I said, time on a race. Well done to the Fitzpatricks and the McDowells for sponsoring it. Continued sponsorship as well, which we need. Um, in harness racing, we need the support. So congratulations, mate. And um, let's make a push. We'll try and get uh, Club Menangle and uh, John to push it to a group one for you. Yeah, Colin McDowell, I'm sure he'll put it up there. Now, I'd like to thank the sponsors too, without the Fitzpatricks and the uh, McDowell family in this sport. Um, you know, it wouldn't be where it is today. They, they sponsor a lot. And yeah, thanks to them. Uh, thank you very much, mate. Thanks, Paul.